Have you ever dreamed of becoming a millionaire? Well, you don't have to rely on winning the lottery because it is one of the easiest things to do, according to our next guest. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm dreaming up. <laughs> oh, here. okay. I'm sorry. Got it. Got it. Private wealth advisor with Ameriprise Financial, Trevor Shakiba, is here to share with us financial tips on how you can reach millionaire status. We're just going to step back and listen. Tell us what to do. What's the secret? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of secrets, but I think the the main point that I want to convey, like like you said in the opening, there is it's actually very easy and and, and really interesting. There's more millionaires today in the U.S. than there's ever been. Most recent data says there's over 10 million millionaires. I actually think it's more than that. And the other key point here is, is that a million dollars is not what it used to be. Right. So in the mid 80s, that was kind of a big deal yeah. and you were financially independent. Now, more than likely, you're gonna need more than a million dollars to be financially independent and achieve your retirement And goals. do you mean, Trevor, a millionaire by like your entire net worth? So it's like the equity in your home, the money in your bank account, the, all your assets, essentially. Well, that's how it's measured. Um, certainly when you're talking about income and achieving your retirement goals, it's gonna be more about what's liquid and your investments on what's gonna be able to uh, to be able to produce that income that you need to retire. The money you can spend, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Okay, again, how do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, the first thing is, and it all starts here, is you gotta live below your means. Right. If you cannot live below your means, it's gonna be very difficult to, to, to really achieve wealth. I'm gonna talk more about this in a second, but The Millionaire Next Door is a great book. It's a wonderful book. And, and, and everybody thinks that millionaires or celebrities or athletes, but most millionaires in the U.S. are just everyday folks that live below their means, they saved, and they achieve this status. The other two quickly is start early. You've got to get time on your side as soon as you can. And then the last point, which we're going to cover again, is don't blow yourself up. Okay. Don't blow yourself up. <laughs> okay, I guess that can mean a few things. Let's do the math, Trevor, because let's say if someone, you, we can see on your screen, let's say you have 60000 in income in your household, either separately or combined. You start at age 25 and you work your entire career. That is what you say puts you way over the top. Yeah, way over the top. And I put these numbers here specifically because 60000 total income is not a lot. Right. Um, the key point here, though, is that you've got to save. And so I use 15%, which equals 9,000 per year. You achieve an 8% rate of return. That actually equals 2.33 million approximately. And so you can see why you got to get time on your side and get going early. Okay, what if someone's hearing this and they're like, well, okay, uh, you say start at 25. I'm well past that. I mean, how do you make up for it, basically? Well, that's, you know, where financial planning would come in, but you've got you've to start. It's never too late. That's the most important uh, part of that, but perhaps you need to start saving a little bit more then, okay? And I really want to emphasize this other point, which is you can do it, and you can live below your means. Again, the millionaire next door, 15%, you can live on 85% of your income. You really can. I know a lot of people out there are looking, are watching and thinking, no, I can't, there's no way, but you can do that. And that's where you gotta to, to start along with avoiding that bad debt, gratification delay. And then look, in that, what you just mentioned, if you wait 10 years, so you only say for 30 years now, that calculation changes from 2.33 million to just over one. So it, it really emphasizes how important it is the, the, the time component of that. Also, when it comes to living on 85% of your income, Trevor, you were here recently telling us how the little things that we have on auto payment every month yeah. may be sucking, sucking our income and we don't even know it. So how should we be identifying the things that are maybe causing us to live above our means? Well, budgeting, that's my, one of my favorite topics. You got to know where the money's going. That's the starting point. A lot of people know where or how much is coming in, but they don't know where it's going. Yeah. And in that segment, we uncovered, I think it was a thousand a month looking at cable, looking at gym memberships that are unused, really everything. And again, going back to my example, it was 9,000 a year. If you can uncover a thousand, bump your 401k up a little bit, good math. I mean, you can get to that number pretty easily. And that's basically your last point, too. Don't blow yourself up. Don't worry about what you haven't done What already. You can make up a little bit at the end. Yeah, so that's another big component of achieving that goal is you don't want to have to start all over again. And what I mean by that is, is liquidating your 401k and having to pay taxes and getting penalized or buying too big of a house too soon, which I see a lot of young folks do. That's what I mean in that, in that category. So live below your means, save, right? Get started early, and then... Don't blow yourself up.
Always good advice. Trevor Shakiba, good to see you. And if you all would like more information on financial planning or to schedule your complimentary initial consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can call 281-724-9917 or visit them online at theshakibagroup.com.